how to get red wine out of carpets. Today we will go over how to get red wine out of carpets. One nice moment on a casual day can turn into a nightmare for you, when you notice that your red wine has accidentally spilled on your carpet. If not treated immediately, red wine stains can get deep into the carpet and become almost impossible to remove. Knowing what methods to use to get rid of red wine from carpets, and using the right techniques are very important for this process. The key is to blot the excess red wine stains from the carpet as soon as you notice them, scrubbing them, or rubbing them too hard can lead to the stains spreading to other areas, making the problem even more complex than it was already. Here are some tried and tested tricks you can try at home to wipe away the red wine stains from your carpets completely. How to get red wine out of carpets. Using baking soda. Use a clean and dry cloth or paper towels to blot the excess wine stains from the carpet. After you have blotted for a while, pour at least half a cup of cold water on the stains to dilute the red wine marks. You can pour or less water depending on the size of the stains. When water loosens the wine marks, it becomes easy for you to blot. Blot as many times as you can, until you see that the wine marks start to dissolve. You should replace the rag a few times in this process. Blotting should always be done with a clean cloth only. Make a thick paste by mixing baking soda and water in a ratio of 3 to 1. Apply generous quantities of baking soda on the red wine marks on the carpet. Let the paste sit on the carpet for about 2 or to 30 minutes. The paste has to dry up completely before you proceed to act on it. Use a vacuum cleaner to get rid of the baking soda paste, and the wine stains would have gone from your carpet easily. Using club soda and salt. As usual, the first step is to use a clean cloth to blot the excess red wine stains from the carpet. Pour a generous quantity of cold club soda directly on the stains. Aerated soda can help to loosen the wine stains and wipe them away easily. Pour the soda in such a way that the stain is fully saturated in the liquid. Apply large quantities of salt on the stains saturated with club soda. Salt works very well in preventing the stains from deepening in the carpet. Let the salt and soda solution settle in the carpet for 20 to 30 minutes until it dries up completely. Use a vacuum cleaner to get rid of this dried mixture from the carpet, and you will notice that the red wine stains have completely lifted from the fabric. Using vinegar, Use a clean and dry cloth to blot the excess red wine stains from the carpet. Mix 1 tablespoon of white vinegar in 2 cups of warm water. We use warm water here, because it becomes easy to dilute vinegar this way. The acidic properties of vinegar work well in loosening the wine marks on the carpet. Dip a clean cloth in this vinegar solution and proceed to blot the wine marks. Keep repeating this process, and change the cloth often. Stop blotting when you notice that the stain marks have started to dissolve. Gradually, as you keep blotting, the stain marks start to lift. At this point, you should dip another clean cloth in a solution of dish soap and water. Use this to blot the spot where the stains were. Using dish soap helps to remove all traces of vinegar from your carpet. Use another clean and damp cloth to wipe the spot clean, and remove all traces of the dish soap and water solution. Use a dry rag to blot the spot thoroughly, and allow the carpet to air dry naturally. Using hydrogen peroxide, when using bleaching agents like hydrogen peroxide for removing stains, you should always test them on a small spot to check for discoloration issues. Please proceed with these steps only if your carpet didn't react differently when treated with hydrogen peroxide. Use a clean and dry cloth to blot the excess red wine marks from the carpet. Pour some hydrogen peroxide directly on the wine marks in such a way that the stain is saturated in it. Apply generous quantities of baking soda on top of the hydrogen peroxide spots. Allow this mixture to sit on the wine stains on the carpet for about 5 to 10 minutes. Use a vacuum cleaner to get rid of the dried out mixture of baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. Use a clean and damp rag to blot the wine stain spot on the carpet. Let the carpet air dry thoroughly, and you will not notice any trace of red wine marks on it. Using white wine. Pour white wine directly on the red wine marks on the carpet. The white wine should completely cover the red wine stains. Use a clean and damp cloth to blot the spot until the red wine stains start to lift. If the wine stains are fresh and light, they will immediately start to dissolve when you pour white wine over them. However, for stubborn stains, it is a good idea to cover the white wine spots with baking soda or salt. Let the mixture sit on the carpet for 10 to 15 minutes before you start to blot the spots with a clean and dry cloth. Use a vacuum cleaner to clean the dried up baking soda or salt mixture. Continue with the blotting process again. Make sure to use clean rags during this process. If the color of the red wine gets transferred to the rag, please replace it with a clean rag. Once all the stains have vanished, blot the spot with a solution made of dish soap and water. Use a clean and dry cloth to blot the spot, and make sure that the carpet doesn't have any soapy residues. Let the carpet air dry thoroughly, 